Hello YouTube, this is Maha David the Thunder Wizard and today I am going to prove to you I'm going to prove to you that the energy practices that I have been teaching you the Maoshan practices here, maoshan.thunderwizard.com as well as many of the rituals where I've taught you to use the eight directions starting in the north going clockwise if you read my books, I give multiple, uh, multiple rituals um, and many times when you do your energy work, you will do the yin-yang hands facing the eight directions. You create a circle. Um, anyway, as you know, this is a, a fundamental part of my teaching. Understanding the eight directions, using the eight directions. Now, when I first started teaching this and have been teaching it for decades, I was just teaching you based on my experience. I did it, power would flow into me. I could explain to you as here why going in a clockwise fashion, each, hitting eight, each of the eight directions, you're pulling in different electromagnetic uh, energies in our reality. And um, it worked and that's the bottom line. You do what works. But now I can prove to you why it works. So I'm going to show you physically in a diagram proof that whenever you deal with the eight directions, if you face north, if you do something very simple as just face north, touch your third eye, your navel and your heart center, you know, Odin, Vili, Ve, mind, body, spirit, and you do that going clockwise starting in the north in all of the eight directions and then send out an intention that in and of itself is a very powerful ritual that can literally change your timeline change your reality and it's not just symbolic to understand that you have to understand that things function on higher dimensional levels so at the higher dimensional level these eight directions actually encompass four dimensional reality which is when you have control over the fourth dimension even if you live in the third dimension you will have control over space and time you will be able to tap into potential energies from the fifth dimension and create your reality as it goes forward you need a job you need more money uh, so many people have done the rune ritual where they face the north and they do, they say, uh, Odin, Vili, and Ve, I invoke the power of Fehu to bring me $10,000 and they'll do each one of them. And I, I've got numerous reports from people who've done that and they magically got $10,000. How is that? Is it that you're just doing some symbol that the gods respond to? Or are we dealing with physics? I'm going to show to you that we are. So, you know, I learned that the reason why I, I focused on that is because this practice here, the spirit fighting, you're noticing me, uh, I'm always moving and shifting into one of the eight directions and taking energy from one direction and moving it into another. And it is the most powerful spiritual practice I know of. And the result of that is, is that when I was practicing this um, in my... 20s and 30s, I had the ability to change space-time in all kinds of weird ways. And I ended up kind of moving away from that because I wanted to live in 3D. Well, now that we live in the time that we do, and now that I have personally proven the Mandela effect, uh, which I won't get into in this video, but now it is more important than ever for us to tap into dimensions um, and uh, paths of the spirit so that we can move into you know as we call it now the 5d move into a truly spiritual eternal uh, space-time in order to do that we need practices that will draw upon that so the eight-sided wheel as I've said when you deal with the eight directions you are working directly with the fourth dimension and the fifth dimension. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. 
This diagram right here, if you look at the shadow, you see on the shadow, what do you see? You see the eight points. You see that? And then above that is a three-dimensional representation of a four-dimensional cube. Now, the reason why we can't really understand what the hell we're looking at, it just looks like a garbled, weird thing, is because we can't. First off, that picture is a two-dimensional picture, but we can use our three-dimensional brains to see depth and space, which isn't really there. But we can create it in our 3D brains. But um, we can't. Truth is, we can't know what it's like to live in four dimensions. We can only guess at it from physics. But one of the interesting things is that we can represent accurately the fourth dimension with the shadow of the fourth dimension. So right here, you see the shadow, that shadow of this 4D cube is creating this uh, this thunder wheel. And you can clearly see that. So what it means is that when we're in the third dimension and we face each of the eight directions in sequence going clockwise, especially with intent, if we're, we've got our, our life force energy connected to it, what will happen is you will be connecting directly to the fourth dimension, which means the energies of the fourth dimension, which are powers over space and time will be yours. The more that you do these practices, the more you will be drawing from these higher dimensions. So uh, as physicists have said, the uh, fifth dimension and the properties of the fifth dimension, which means um, nonlinear time being at any place at any time, whenever you want, all possible realities are available, uh, potentially. And if you live in the fifth dimension, you just simply think what you want to have happen, and it manifests. This is physicists talking now. This isn't new age, let's shift into the 5D. These are physicists. This is what physicists can tell you happens in the fifth dimension. That when you're in the fifth dimension, you imagine something, it happens because it pulls directly from the potential energy of all possible realities that you are living in. And that you can be in any time, in any space, uh, etc., etc., etc. And we've been using this. If you've been following me, you've been using this eight-sided direction wheel, and I've taught you multiple ways to use it. And now you know why those rituals work. But here's the best news. The veil between the third dimension and the fourth and the fifth dimension is coming down. How do I know that? One proof of that is the Mandela effect. There are multiple timelines coming together, literally crashing into each other. And the remnants of previous timelines exist, even though, you know, like Luke, I am your father. There are videos, two videos of James Earl Jones saying, and I quote, when I read the script and I read Luke, I am your father, you have the memes there. And yet the video, the actual movie itself, Luke, I am your father has been changed to no, I am your father. What does that mean? It means that multiple timelines are coming together. And that's just one example of thousands. You can find your own. You don't need me to explain it to you. And so that proves that the, the veil between our concrete three dimension is, is no longer concrete anymore which means you have more access to fourth and fifth dimensions. So now you have proof. Use that eight dimensional wheel, the thunder wheel, read my books, assuming they're still the same books, read my books about uh, the thunder wheel, the eight points, the eight directions, uh, do the practices that I've taught you. If you are doing the Mao Shan, now you will understand why for some reason I did this and I faced these different directions 
and all of a sudden I have all this power and energy. I don't know where it came from. Well, that's because you're dealing with the shadow, so it won't make any sense to you. But your spirit is actually tapping directly into 4D and 5D energies. So there it is, my friends. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I'm happy to continue to explore this with you, but it explains a lot of things that I just knew were true based on experience, but I, maybe I didn't really completely understand why. Now I understand. And I'm happy to share this with you. And uh, we need now more than ever to be practicing these energy practices. So whatever your meditative practice, whatever your Qigong practice, whatever your energy practice is, whether it's from what I've taught or what somebody else has taught, I don't care. Do these practices. We need it more than ever. We need to streamline our timeline and we need to make sure that we bring 5D in. This is the only way that we can do that. We don't have any other power. We don't have the magical, crazy technology that the deep state has, which is probably responsible for the Mandela effect. We don't have the ability, you know, in our 3D bodies to go to, you know, physically go to 4 and 5D yet. But we do have the ability to, to use sacred spiritual practices that will pull from the fourth and the fifth dimension. And we can use that to uh, empower ourselves and to use our spirit to create the reality that we need. We need to do it now more than ever. All right. I wish you guys all the best. I love you. I will see you all soon.